Hello folks, Eric Bed here once again for a brand new gear demo. And if you're new to this channel, I just want to take a few seconds to say that I release instructional videos here for guitar every Thursday or so, with occasional videos on gear demos like this one, reviews, screencasts, live streams, things of that nature. And if you like this sort of content, please be sure to click the notification bell after you subscribe. If you do subscribe, I appreciate that. To be informed of new releases, your support goes a long way to help me deliver the content that's most relevant to you. Now, without further ado, let's talk about today's video. Today I'll be going over an unboxing and kind of like a demo of this microphone here. It's the Comica CVM V2. Oh, okay. We're going to unbox this bad boy as well as give you an, a, a demo of what it sounds like, all the different features of it. I'm really excited about this. This will be my first shotgun mic that I've ever owned. This is specifically used for camera mounts. You can also use it on your smartphones. It has all kinds of accessories. So let's go ahead and try to unbox this thing and see what we got inside. Here's the front, by the way, just the box, the front of that. And in the back tells you some of the accessories. All right. Get my trusty utility knife out here and we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside i want to give a special thanks to the people at comica i'm actually using and have been using their mic here for a pretty good while this is the comica stm 01 i do believe it's called and it's condenser mic as you can hear it sounds amazing as well really appreciate the guys for let me test out their products and give my honest opinion on what I think of them. So far, everything I've tested out from Comica is great. All right, so we got the box open. Let's go ahead and dig into what is inside here. Right out the box comes with a nice looking carrying case, looks like. Yeah, so any instructions are inside. Very nice looking carrying case. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Looks really good. Unzip this pretty. It's not a hard case, but it is pretty sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and unzip this. And you should, whoa, you should be able to see everything inside. There's the mic and some, some of the other accessories. Let's see what else we've got. And then we'll plug in this bad boy. According to the back of the box, we've got a TRS to TRS cable, audio cable, a TRS to TRRS cable, a wind muff, and a wind screen. Some of the features on the box, it has two low cut filter modes so that you can decide how much lows you want to take out of your signal. It's got an adjustable gain control, which is on the back. There's a little knob that you can do that with. And I'll show you some of that here in just a minute. It's got an LED uh, power so that you can see how much battery you have left. It is rechargeable via USB. It's got a built-in lithium battery and it supports you working with the microphone while it's actually charging. So I think that's a great feature in itself. You don't have to worry about your battery dying. You can get to a USB or a wall outlet if you got one of the little USB plug things that adapts and plugs into the wall. You don't have to worry about your battery dying or anything like that. And it's made of full metal construction, super shielding, stable, and it's super durable. Now, right out of the box, I'll just go ahead and hold the various different things up for you, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the actual mount. Okay, so there's the mount. Very interesting, I like the colors. You just slip in the uh, microphone there and it mounts onto your tripod or your phone. No doubt you can find a way to mount it onto your phone. It might even say how to do that here. I'm not exactly sure, but you can mount it onto your tripod or even your camera. And that's a really cool feature in my opinion. Okay, and even it tells you which way is the front so you can know right there it's labeled front. So there's the mount. We also have the wind muff. Okay, very nice. Not the wind muff, but this is the uh, wind screen. The wind muff is here. Very cool. We've got this, so if you're outside or outdoors, you can put this over it. You don't have to worry about it picking up any wind noise or anything like that. Okay, it has the manual in here. You can use it right out of the box. Little Comica stickers in the back. And here are the other cables it was mentioning. Looks like we've got the TRS and the TRRS. So those are in there as well. You can plug those in. Looks like lastly it's the USB charge cable. Now since this is coming right out of the box, I'm not exactly sure if this is charged at all. We're about to find that out. Okay, so it does have the USB charger. It does look like potentially a lightning charger. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, I've got a, no it's not a lightning charger, it's something kind of like it. It's not exactly the same. Oh, and here's the microphone by the way. So you got the Comica CVM VM20. Okay, very cool. I don't know if this is part of the design. I don't know if you can see this. 
but it has a little, looks like the paint has little drips on it. So I can get that in the light and you might be able to see that. See that? Little splotches where the paint is kind of beaded. I don't know if that's meant to be like that or not, but it looks pretty cool, I think. So here's the volume knob. You can turn that. It's got a little number sign. It's got a little red dot, red arrow down here, where you can see what number you're on. You've got the charge. There's also the output, where you take the TRS cables and output that. You've got your power button here, and you also have your switch. To just instantly change to 75 or 150 cutoff point frequency, okay? So that's really, really cool. Looks like something very simple to use. And the way I've seen these, yes, the way I've seen these used is, it's a, this is a cardioid condenser mic. Usually you want to hold it right at your face, like this, okay? So you have a volume knob so that you can adjust it depending on how far away it is, all right? Now I've seen some people use shotgun mics, they will plug it into their iPhone. What they will do is they'll use their voice recording app and they'll record that while they're away from their mic because you don't want to have this huge cord everywhere, especially if this can be plugged right into your device and it is pretty much wireless except for you know plugging into your device. You don't have to worry about it being attached to a longer wire that's attached to your camera. So you would put this into your iPhone or digital recording device and hold it with you, maybe like an actual microphone, and that way you could be, the camera could be way off in the distance or something. So that's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in, talk about it, listen to it, see what it sounds like, and go from there. All right, so now I have the Comica CVM VM20 hooked up right now in front of me and you can judge for yourself how it sounds. I'm gonna be quiet for a moment because the heat just came on in my house and we'll see how good of a sound this thing has. All right, so there you have it on this microphone. Now, let me just tell you one tip that I learned. I actually recorded the first part of this video yesterday. I'm having to re-record this because I had the mic set up wrong the first time. You do not, I repeat, you do not need an extra phantom power for this mic. Why is that? Because the mic is powered itself. It supplies its own power through the lithium battery. If you try that and try the phantom power with it, you'll end up with a very thin sound, kind of like this. Very nice sound quality we have right now. I have the, the, wind, the windscreen, not the muff, but the windscreen is actually on. Nobody wants that. Let me just hold the mic up for you and see what's going on here. I'm gonna move this a little closer to me, and as it becomes closer, this is what it sounds like. I've got the setting for the volume at about two and a half. So hopefully that's working well. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my monitor here so that I can make sure I'm not clipping or anything like that. So I don't have the low cut filters enabled right now. So I'll do that real quick. It is kind of bassy without it, as you might be able to tell. Let's go ahead and do the 75 is the low cut filter for this one. Okay, now we're at 75 hertz being rolled off. I'm going to turn the input down just a little bit. 75 is rolled off now. Okay, so it should be a little thinner. And if I hit it for the 150, it will be even thinner than that. So now I'm at 150 hertz rolled off. I prefer, from what I've seen so far and what I've listened to, the, probably the 75. So I'm just gonna leave it on 75. So once again, if I close up on this, you should be able to see the numbers down the bottom and a little bit more of what's going on here. Okay, so you got the, the two hertz filters there, the power button on the side, I've got a charger, and the cable is actually coming out of it. What I've got here is an actual extension cable. The cable itself is only about this long, okay? So you'll probably want to get an extension cable if you plan on moving it around or anything like that. Otherwise, you can, like I said, hook it up to your phone using the TRRS jack, which is supplied for those jacks, kind of like laptops and smartphones, that have just one input jack so that you can have a, both a microphone and headphones as well. All right, so this is just on a simple tripod that I bought. It's kind of a pistol grip, and if I convert it, you'll be able to see how that works. So I can hold it just like this, and it's on me at all times. I can turn it down if I need to. Let me go ahead and turn it up a little bit more all the way. Now it's all the way at 10, it's probably clipping pretty bad. Now turn it back down, all the way down, it'll probably cut off. Testing, 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 testing. Back up at about three and a half or four. So I can use that as a tripod to work my way around. If I actually go to the sides of the microphone like this, you can hear the sound cancellation and how it's working on that side, okay? So you should be able to hear that. And if I turn the mic away from me completely, 
There should be little to no noise whatsoever, okay? So I'm gonna put this back down on my desk here and we will continue from there. We'll just talk about some features that come along with this mic here that are very good about this mic. And I'm gonna try to be careful to point it directly at my mouth, get an eyeball load, okay? So hopefully I'm right about where I need to be. And I'll show some pictures on the screen for you. Like I said, it comes with this accessories. It comes in the box. It comes with all these accessories. It comes with that little nice carrying kit, that case here that comes with it, with all the accessories inside of it. As you'll see on some of these pictures here, some more of the things we'll come into. You've got that super cardioid pattern. You've got the visualization of the battery itself, so you'll always know what charge your battery is. And I can't stress this enough. You can use this while it's being charged. That's an amazing thing that uh, you don't have to worry about going to a coffee shop or anything like that trying to find if you're out in town trying to find a charger to charge this thing up and you know kind of ruin your day of, of filming this thing is supposed to last 60 plus hours okay 60 plus hours of microphone time so that's amazing i mean you could do like two full documentaries or something like that with this or a huge interview or even a two-hour course or whatever 60 hours you could do a 60 hour course at that point you know so you've got the gain control, you've got that shock mount that comes with it. It's very nice and it's very touchy. If I just barely touch this tripod, it really picks up. So it's a very hot mic. It's got that output and you've got the full metal chases and it does kind of, if you're looking at the picture, you can see that little drip, that little drip over the paint looks like it's been splattered on there. I think that's a pretty neat touch, a neat design. It's versatility and compatibility, suitable for recording various devices with your TRS, AS, excuse me, TRRS, you get your iPhone, your smartphone, your laptop, those things, like I said, they only have one input that you can use it for both the microphone and the headphones type of thing. You have your TRS to TRS, which you use for your camcorder. That's what I'm using right now to go into my audio interface. You can use it for your cameras and camcorders. And if you don't have one, you can actually buy a separate adapter. It's TRS to XLR if you need to use that to plug in as well. It says at the bottom of that note, if you want to use it on Lightning or USB-C devices, you need to prepare the corresponding original audio output cable by yourself. Not exactly sure what that's talking about, but uh, that's just something to be kind of uh, aware of. Once again, links are below in the description, so please do check those out. You should be able to see those. One of those is my gear page, the As Seen on YouTube gear page. should be able to show these for you, so you can check those out. You've got great sound quality. You've got the two low cut filter modes. To me, I think it sounds amazing from what I've listened to after I turned the phantom power on my audio unit off. You definitely, I can't stress that enough. That they should have put that in the manual, but I didn't see anything about phantom power in there, but uh, it kind of makes sense. Okay, also, it's got that rechargeable lithium battery. Like I said, 60 hours plus battery life. You've got the USB C charging port that you can charge it right up to your computer or to a wall. And you can, it's suitable for live streaming, for YouTubing, for recording. I don't have my acoustic guitar here with me right now, my Breedlove, but I'll be interested to see what this sounds like in actual acoustic recording. It is a condenser mic after all. It's a focused condenser mic. And this is great for interviews as well. So all these things you can get with this microphone. Once again, that's the Comica CVM VM20. You definitely want to check this thing out. I highly recommend it for if you ever need a shotgun mic and you don't have one. You don't have to do a lot of audio processing if you use those low cut filters. It's not boomy. It has a nice filtration sound there. So I definitely recommend it. Do check it out. The links are below. Okay, I do videos like these all the time. These gear videos and all kinds of other demo videos and guitar videos and things like that. So if you've liked what you've seen, please check the subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be notified when I release new videos like this and for when I go live on my live streaming here on YouTube. I don't always set that up beforehand. Sometimes that's abrupt and that's just at the spur of the moment thing. All right, so you want to be notified, then click that notification bell so that you'll see it when I release it here on my YouTube channel. Also, check out any video cards or end screens or anything like that that I've left on this video. Most of the time they are related to the topics here that we discuss. In these videos okay so definitely check out any additional resources like that that i've placed on these videos and the description below once again for great links and resources to help you regarding more information about this uh, microphone and the things i talk about okay also if you wouldn't mind please like leave a comment 
What do you think about the microphone, the used shotgun mics? What do you think about this? I would love to hear your opinions on that. What do you think about the sound quality? Is this something you, you'd be wanting to try down the road? You know, if you were looking to upgrade your gear in 2021, I would definitely go with a shotgun mic. I'm so happy that I've got this. I'm super thankful to the folks at Comica for sending it my way to demo and review for you guys. So share this video with your friends if you think they might find it helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video, whatever that may be. A lot of good stuff coming your way. Until next time, keep creating and go.